What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.1 beta 5 to registered developers exactly one week after releasing iOS 12.1 beta 4. So you can see here the update came in at 246 megabytes here on my iPhone 10s. Of course that size will vary depending on your device and which firmware you're coming from. So let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new version. Let's go to general about and you can see the build number right there still long. It's 16B 5089B. So still a long build number even though we are likely to get the final version of 12.1 at the end of this month next week on the 30th. If you guys didn't know, Apple is holding an event on October 30th where they are expected to announce new iPads, new Macs, and possibly iOS 12.1, the final version as well. I did make a full video on that, so if you didn't see that, check it out in the cards right now. I go through basically everything you can expect from that event. But anyways, let's get back to 12.1 beta 5 here. So what's new in this version? Obviously, it is a point update and it's the fifth beta, so you can't really expect too much to change, but there is one thing that has been changed. And there are also bug fixes as well, which I will talk about in a second. But the biggest actual change, like the biggest thing that's actually new in this version is an enhanced emoji. And that is the bagel emoji. So if we go over here and go to our food, it's hard to tell since it is small, but the bagel emoji has been updated. And it looks like there's actually butter in the middle of it now. You can see there's a tweet. Somebody actually found this. So uh, pretty interesting that Apple decided to update this emoji of all emojis here in the fifth beta. This is actually in the fourth beta as well. But as you guys know, I did not cover the fourth beta here on the channel, but that has been updated here in 12.1 beta. And when 12.1 comes out, obviously you're gonna have all of the new emojis uh, and including this enhanced version of the bagel. But anyways, another thing that has been changed here in beta five is that album artwork now shows up on the lock screen when playing music. So I'm not too sure how many people actually had this issue, but for me on my daily driver, my 10s Max, not this phone here, but on my 10s Max, when I would play music from Apple Music, uh, it wouldn't show the album artwork sometimes. And it was only on the lock screen for some reason. Like when I drag down here to pull up notification center, it would show the album artwork, but it was only on the lock screen where it didn't show it. So if we go to the lock screen, you can see now it does show the album artwork here in beta five. I'm not for sure that this has been fixed fully because it wasn't all the time that it happened on my 10s max. Uh, it was just certain times and certain songs, I guess. So I will report back on that when the final version of 12.1 gets released, just to make sure it has been fully fixed. Now, another bug that some people have reported that I have not experienced yet has to do with dual SIM. So there are a couple people on the Mac rumors for forums who posted that they had this bug where it basically showed that their current line isn't active and if they and asked them if they wanted to switch to their other line even though they didn't even have another you know carrier they didn't even have another sim card in their phone or the eSIM activated so i'm not sure if this has been fixed in beta 5 i'm sure it will get fixed before the final version of 12.1 gets rolled out to the public but i just wanted to mention that bug real quick and if you guys have had that let me know down in the comment section below as well as any other bug you've had let me know in a comment below what that bug is now one thing that hasn't been switched here in beta 5 has to do with FaceTime and the camera. As you guys know, now for some reason in 12.1, you can't just simply click on your picture and press a little rotate button on there to switch the camera from rear facing to front facing or vice versa. You actually have to tap, you have to go to these three dots and then you have to click on flip. So it's actually quite a process and it's pretty annoying. I wish it would go back to the old way where you just tap on the little preview right there and then tap flip really easily, just one or two clicks. So unfortunately that has not been fixed here in beta five. I don't really think it's a bug, but it is something that I hope Apple brings back. Uh, if not in 12.1, then maybe in 12.1.2 or 12.1.1 or 12.2, whatever comes after 12.1. As far as group FaceTime goes, I haven't really had many issues with it either. So I'm expecting this to be a smooth rollout in 12.1. And I think a lot of people are really gonna enjoy this group FaceTime, but just make sure that all the devices are on 12.1 uh, when you do group FaceTime, otherwise it won't work. Now, as far as performance goes on beta five here, it does seem to be pretty smooth. I mean, beta four uh, was very smooth on my iPhone XS Max and on the 10s here so can imagine there's really too big of a change here in performance i mean it feels exactly the same animations feel the same control center feels the same just the overall fluidity feels the exact same and it's the same exact thing with battery life i mean once we go throughout these betas especially a point release pretty much every beta there's not really going to be a difference at all in performance or battery life i mean you can run geekbench tests and things like that and it may show different results but the day-to-day -day usage is pretty much going to be identical so i will comment on battery life and performance a lot more and go into a lot more detail when the actual final version of 12.1 gets released and I'll compare that to something like 12.0.1 or 12.0 because I think that's going to give you a much better insight as to how good or bad this update is. And like I said, the final version of iOS 12.1 is most likely going to be released in eight days from now on October 30th. Could be the day after. It could actually be the day before. Uh, so we really don't know. Sometime next week, we're expecting to see the final version of 12.1 because of course, Apple is holding their October event. So yeah, that's pretty much it for iOS 12.1 beta 5. Not really much changed as expected, but we did 
did get an updated emoji, the bagel emoji for those of you that care. And then we have some bug fixes as well, which seems like a common occurrence in these betas. So we continue to squash these bugs, which is nice. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below if you have 12.1 beta installed. Let me know how it's running for you. If you found any new bugs, if you found any new features, let me know everything down in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more videos on future versions of iOS 12 as well. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.